Exactly. <laughs> Movies like Bridesmaid and The Hangover have shown us our fair share of wedding toasts gone horribly uh, wrong, and that was obviously one of them. But our next guests are here to help us give a toast the guests will remember for the right reasons. We welcome Katrin Kern and Chris Corbell with some simple tips on what to do and what not to do when toasting the bride and groom. Welcome. Thanks, Thank guys. you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I have to assume, based on that clip, I, I'm not familiar with it. This is the first time that I've was, seen it. Was he sober? I don't know, Chris, what was He's going on probably, in that? Probably. Being Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> this is crazy. I, I would assume that one of, one of the things that helps is to be sober, right, if you're, if you're giving a toast. Well, you know, there's an open bar, so you can only expect so much from anybody. Well, I guess that's true. <laughs> but, you know, what makes that scene so funny, you know, they say comedy is based on truth. And as outlandish mm -hmm. as Zach is being, in that moment, it's the not too subtle message of a lot of best man toast. Look at me, look how well I know my friend. Mm -hmm. Well, the truth is you got the job because you have the history. So you're, you're just not telling us anything we don't already know. Right. And it's kind of what we're hoping that you know him. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, so what do we take from that clip? What to do or what not to do? Well, in a situation like this, you have to remember, as well as you know your friend, half the people in the room, he's just some dude in a tux who just <laughs> yeah. married their little angel. So you really want to convince those people that he's going to be a worthy husband. Ah, okay. And okay. Is there such a thing as too much humor? I mean, can you be too funny or try to be too funny in a, in a toast? Oh, yeah. I mean, I love humor, and I think that's something that I always like to say, oh, I'm a funny dude. But if the best part of your speech is your comedy, it's not a good toast. Because ah. humor trivializes situations. Mm -hmm. So I say, think of it as a cocktail. And, you know, the comedy is the the alcohol, the vodka, mm -hmm. and you always want to have like one part really funny to two parts really meaningful. Oh, okay. I like that. Very, nice. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. All right, well, we've got another clip from a movie, Bridesmaids. Let's listen to that and, and see what we can take from that. And that's it for tonight. Thank you for coming. Really quick. Thank you all for coming. I just wanted to say really Dessert quick. wine is out. <laughs> Consuelo? Really quick. Speaking of Consuelo, Lillian and I took Spanish together. Word. Awkward. <laughs> I mean, what was going on there? They clearly they, they got their signals crossed, right? Yes, they got swept up in the spirit of competition. Ah, uh, that's right. Now I remember <laughs> okay. the movie. They were one was trying to outdo the other. Exactly. So what should bridesmaids be thinking when they're taking the stage? You know, every single bridesmaid has her own special relationship with the bride or maybe even the bride and groom. And the thing about a wedding where multiple people are speaking mm -hmm. is that your specialness, your point of view, and your perception of the story of the bride and groom is going to be different from anyone else's. So if you feel yourself being pulled down that path of wanting to outdo someone else, mm -hmm. it's the wrong way to go. Resist it. Mm -hmm. Resist because you're not, your job is not to be the best toast giver at the wedding. It's to be the best you and you can't do that if you're thinking about what someone else is doing. Mm -hmm. You've well, got to be centered in your truth. And you also can't do it if you can't be heard or understood and maybe right. one of the lessons from that clip sure. is that I, I couldn't really tell what anybody was, was saying. saying or doing. <laughs> what was going on there? Were, were they just kind of both mumbling or, or uh, yeah, they were both kind of mumbling and they were both Hesitant also talking over each talking, other, exactly. <laughs> which is definitely a no-no in giving a toast. Yeah. Yes. And so where do you look for inspiration for what to say? You look to your relationship with the person you're honoring and you look to the times that they've moved you or they've made you laugh, mm -hmm. you know, the special things about them and you. Okay, great. All right, so we're going to come back in our second segment because we've got more to talk about with you guys. When we, We're going to take a quick break and be back with more with Katrin and Chris to tell you about some simple tips, easy formula to give a spontaneous wedding day toast right after this.